Let's talk about decimal to binary to hexadecimal conversions. What up everybody, this is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert decimal numbers into binary, binary into hexadecimal, hex into binary and binary back into decimal so that you can look like a superstar out on these streets with these conversions. So let's get into it. First thing we need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, is what is decimal, what is hexadecimal, and what is binary. So all of you out there, you all know what decimal is. This is the base 10 numbering system that you guys learn how to count your fingers and toes when you were in preschool. And that is numbers 0 through 9. 0 through 9 or 1 through 10, but we refer to it as 0 through 9 over here in the IT world. Next, we have hexadecimal. Hexadecimal represents base 16 values, base 16 numbers, right? And how this works is you have the same numbers, zero through nine over here, but then when you get to the number 10, instead of it becoming the number 10, it is represented by the letter A all the way through the letter F, which stands for 15. So A through F, A, B, C, D, E, F, all of those letters represents numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, okay? And then we have binary. This is powers of two or base two mathematics. And this represents zeros and ones, which stand for off and on. So in binary, what happens is we're going to take what is called an IP version four address. You guys have seen these before. It'll be some number here, dot some number here, dot some number there, dot some number there that represents an IP address. And if you guys aren't familiar with IP addresses, go check out my IT fundamentals course where I explain explain all of this to you, but a lot of you guys are familiar with IP addresses. You're just familiar with the names that are associated with them. Like if you type in youtube.com or youtube.com is associated with an actual IP address. So think of the IP address as the house number to the house that you currently live in. Okay. Now how binary relates to the IP version four that we're looking at here, we're only going to be focusing on what is called the fourth octet. This is octet one, octet two, octet three, and octet Tech four. We're going to be focusing on the fourth octet so that we can try to figure out which bits to turn on and off, you know, zeros and ones. And so first things first, we have to lay out the binary numbering system. So it goes like this. It goes from number one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. This red decimal point represents the break in the fourth octet. Then we're going on to the third octet. But as you can see, all of these values double themselves by a power of two, and it just keeps going going on and on and on. So we got to get this down packed first because this is what is going to help us go through our conversion process, right? And how the actual conversion process works is if you want to go from decimal to hexadecimal, you're going to have to use binary as the middleman. If you want to go from hex back to decimal, you're going to have to use binary as the middleman. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's really simple. Don't sweat it. You'll be doing this like a boss by the time I'm done with this video. All right. So let's Let's do our first example of how to convert decimal to binary. So in this example, we're going to convert the decimal number 175 into its binary equivalent. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay out all of your powers of twos like I just showed you from the fourth octet numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And now we're going to turn on the values that actually add up to the number 175. Because if you recall, I just just stated in binary, we work off of ones and zeros. Ones represents a value or a bit is turned on and zero represents a value or a bit is turned off. So in order for us to get 175, we have to turn on the number 128, the number 32, the number eight, four, two, and one. You add all those numbers up together, you get 175. Real simple stuff, right? I know. All right, let's take this problem one step further. So we're going to go ahead and convert the decimal number 175 into its hexadecimal equivalent. Now, if you recall, I stated that in order to go from decimal to hexadecimal or from hex back to decimal, you have to go through binary as the middle guy. All right. So now let me go ahead and explain what all this madness on your screen means. OK, so we have the decimal number 175 and we've already figured out how to solve for its binary equivalent. And that will come out to be one zero one zero one one one. 
Now, remember, I stated that this was basically the fourth octet, right? The last octet of an IP address. I have this blue line right here going down the middle because when we go through the process of converting it into hexadecimal, we're only going to be focusing on what is called a nibble, an N-I-B-B-L-E. This is basically half an octet that we're going to use for our conversions, okay? So we got our binary, 1010111. We're going to move it down here. Now, we're going to break this down into two groups of four are two groups of nibbles, right? We're just gonna draw a line straight down the middle just like I did. Being that we're only operating off of half of an octet, we're only going to basically apply half of the powers of two conversion. So we have one, 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 one. So basically the values one, two, four, and eight have all been turned on. And then we're gonna apply the same one, two, four, and eight over here. So as you can see, the value eight and the value two have been turned on. And now we're gonna go ahead and just start adding numbers up. Eight plus two, is what 10 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals what 15 so now we have 10 and we have 15 that is what these nibbles break down into so now we have to go ahead and figure out what do these values means as it relates to hexadecimal so if you look over here remember i told you hexadecimal numbers they represent numbers 0 through 9 and letters a through f where a through f represent numbers 10 through 15 so now that we have the number 10 over here well a equals 10 f equals 15. So the decimal number 175 equals the hexadecimal value AF. Now, if you want to go ahead and check your work real quick to verify that you know what you're doing, you can just go to Google and type in decimal to hexadecimal converter, and you just type in the number 175, and it will show you the conversions right here. Here's your hexadecimal value, and here is your binary value that I was showing you earlier on this screen. All right, so now let me give you an example of how to go from hexadecimal all the way back to decimal. So in this example, we have the hexadecimal value of B2. We're trying to figure out what its decimal equivalent is. So what we're going to do with the B2, we're going to go ahead and convert it to binary because remember to go from hex to decimal, you got to go through binary. From decimal to hex, you got to go through binary. So we're going to go ahead and apply our middleman. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our B2 and we're going to divide it into its own little sections here of B and 2. And then we're going to come back over here and figure out what its equivalent is in its nibble notation. So remember, we're working with the number number two. So we got to come down here and do our one, two, fours, and eights that represent our nibbles so that we can figure out which value is actually turned on. So out of eight, four, two, and one, the only value that is turned on is the value number two. So that'll be zero, zero, one, zero. Then we come over here to the letter B. If you look back up here, remember in hexadecimal notation, hexadecimal notation is expressed in numbers zero through nine and A through F, where the letter A equals 10 and the letter F equals 15. So B would be the number 11. So 11 equals B. We go here and look at our nibble, one, two, four, and eight. We add the values that are turned on. So it would be eight, two, and one. Eight plus two plus one equals 11. And then we just put them all together. And this is what our binary equivalent for B2 is going to look like. It's going to be one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Now we're going to take this and we're going to figure out what our decimal equivalent is. So now we're going to come back to the fourth octet, the entire thing. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. We're going to take our binary equivalent and figure out which of these values are turned on. As you can see, values 128, 32, 64, and 2 are turned on. We're going to come up here and just add those numbers together. 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2, and that will get you 178. So the decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal value B2 is the number 178. And like always, if you're unsure, you can just run over to Google and do a check to verify that you added your numbers up correctly. So as you can see, I put B2 up into the converter. We got our decimal equivalent of 178, and then we have our binary equivalent of 10110010. And for my last trick, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to convert a hexadecimal number that has three values back into its decimal equivalent. So if we look at our screen here, we have the hexadecimal values A, B, and C. Okay, so first thing we got to do, we got to convert A, B, and C back into its binary equivalent because binary is the middleman. Also remember hexadecimal values are the numbers 0 through 9 and the letters A through F where A equals 10 and F equals 15. 
15. So we go through, we take ABC and we break it down into its individual groups. And then we figure out what do these values represent? Well, A equals 10, B equals 11, and 12 equals C. We go ahead and apply our little nibbles that I was talking about here with 8421, 8421, 8421. We figure out which values are turned on that add up to this number right here. So 8 plus 4 equals 12, 8 plus 2 plus 1 equals 11, 8 plus 2 equals 10. So this is our binary equivalent of ABC, 1010101111100. Now we're going to move on down to converting this into its decimal equivalent. So now we're going to apply the entire octet again. So remember 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now if you look right here, I have a little red dot right here that indicates the separation between the fourth octet and the third octet. So this value ABC is going to drag us out into the third octet. So what we're going to do, we're still going to apply the powers of two. So 128 plus 128 is going to get us 256. 256 plus 256 is going to get us 512, then 1024, 2048, and so on and so forth. So now we're going to take our binary value and just figure out which of these numbers are turned on. As you can see, 2048 is on, 512, 128, 32, 16, 8, and 4. Come up here, add up all these numbers together. 2048 plus 512 plus 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4. That's going to get you the decimal equivalent of 2748. So the hexadecimal value ABC equals 2748. And like always, you could just run over to Google and check your work if you want. So as you can see, hexadecimal number ABC, decimal value 2748, binary value down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my quick little class on how to perform decimal to binary to hexadecimal conversions and hex back to binary back to decimal conversions. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you as you begin a career in in the wonderful profession of IT. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.